All right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. Time for another tutorial for homebrew. And uh, this tutorial is going to be how to turn any of your vehicles that you've made into an RC vehicle. And so you can remotely control it, whether it's flying, a boat, cars, you name it. There's a real easy way to do it. I'm going to show you right now. And we're going to use this simple plane I have right here. Uh, to do it with and I'm going to show you first of all you're going to go into your inventory it's my tiny plane and the first thing you want to do is duplicate it so we're going to create a clone vehicle uh, so that you don't ruin the original one come in here fast edit all right so there it is right there what's nice is you you don't have to change anything to this vehicle we're going to come in here to the building area and it's real easy. We're going to come in here. We're going to get uh, some pipes. And the first, actually a part, the first part you're going to get is the detacher. Get this detacher. Find a spot on the plane, uh, on the vehicle, towards the edge of the vehicle. We're going to use the back of the vehicle right there. Got the detacher on. I'm going to get some pipes. I'm going to use the longest one. You could make longer ones than this in the pipe builder, but this will work for the video. And just like that. Okay, good to go. And I'm going to build some braces off to the side just to kind of create a platform, something that's stable. And you'll see why I'm doing this here in a second. All right. And next thing we're going to get is a chair. We're going to get a seat. Okay, get your seat. Go in here. I'm going to stick it right. Uh, let's go back. Now let's put it right here. Okay, got my seat. I'm going to get me a battery. Actually, a monitor. I'm going to get a smoke flare. I'm going to get a couple smoke flares. And I'm going to get uh, some on a battery right here. Uh, let's get another battery. And then I'm going to get cameras. I'm going to get uh, two cameras. And I think for now that's good. Okay, now let's get some pipes. And we're going to go with a line nine again. Just like that. Another one. Let's see how that's going to look. I think that looks pretty even. That's good. Now I'm going to get my monitor here. Let's make sure we got the right side. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Got that on. All of this is being built behind the detacher. With the exception of a couple things. We're going to get a battery. Put it on here. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Just put it on there somewhere. And we're going to get some... We're going to get some more line nines here. We're going to put these out here. Now, you could, you could uh, make these go up like an antenna. If you want it straight up in the sky for this, I'm going to put them back here because... I want to be able to see up in the sky. And sometimes when you put it, let's do that. I'm going to take one of these smokers, put it up here. I'm going to take another smoke. And I'm going to put it on the back of the plane right there. And uh, let's see, do I have a battery on this one? I do have a battery on there. So that's good to go. And let's get some cameras now. We'll put a camera on the back of the plane here. Oh, this should be a good spot right here. Yep. And we'll get a camera for the front. And you don't have to use cameras to, to uh, remotely control vehicles. It just helps if they get farther away from you, especially if they're a, uh, a vehicle that flies fast like uh, a jet, let's say. Let's. I'm trying to find a spot to stick this in that's going to 
give me a good view. All right, I think that's good right there. Okay, let's bake it. Let me double check everything. Okay, so uh, detacher, seat, can uh, monitor. I'm going to have a uh, smoke back here, a battery. I've added smoke to the vehicle back here and two cameras. We're good to go. We're going to go to the tuning area. Now, this is where it gets, this is the important parts right here. Okay, first of all, click the battery. Consumers is going to be this uh, monitor right here. You're going to want to click your smoke, link it. And I'm going to turn this to activate one. You, you can key bind that to whatever you want. We'll leave the smoke uh, red. And we're going to take the monitor. We're going to link it to my this seat. Everything's going to be linked to this seat. And activate one is good. Uh, let's just keep moving forward here. We got uh, smoke. We're going to link it here. Activate uh, one again. Now let's let's go. Yeah, we'll leave it activate one. And we'll let's actually go activate two. And then we'll go with smoke. Let's go with. It will go with black. All right. Uh, so that's that. Then we're going to move forward. We're going to go ahead and get this camera right here. We're going to link it to this chair. And input controller right here. Activate one. That's good. And then we're going to link this camera to this monitor. Input controller to this chair. And we're going to make this activate two. Okay. All right. Almost there, guys. Now what we need to do is everything that was linked on this plane to that chair now has to be linked to this chair. Okay. That's good. And flaps. We're going to link it back here. This flap. That's all you need to do is just relink it. You don't need to change... Um, anything else. Okay, that's good. That's, that's linked to the wrong chair. So let's do this again. I want to link it. And let's show RPM to this chair. There. So notice that nothing's linked to the front chair now. Same with the front flaps. We're going to link those to the back chair. Good to go, and I think that should be it, my friends. Nothing should be linked to this chair, and we're going to come back here to this chair, and we're going to edit the screen. That's okay. We don't need to worry about that. Look around, and that should do it. Let me just do a double, triple check going through. Looks good. So really all you're doing is again, adding a chair to an existing vehicle, okay? So here we go. Let's bake it, and let's get in the action. Okay, so I've just spawned the vehicle. It's a tiny plane uh, with the RC option. Uh, one thing I want you to know, I did add a little bit stronger batteries. You can add more small batteries or a large one to power the cameras and also to power the monitor. Uh, they do need a little more juice, so if they don't work, add a little more battery power to them. All right, we're going to get in. As soon as I activate the plane, I'm detached from it now, and my smoke should be going, which it is. And the reason for the smoke is so when you're out flying around, it's easier to find where you're at and maybe do some flybys, have fun with it. We're going to turn our front camera on. We could also turn on our back camera. So you could have multiple cameras for different views, which is really cool. Let's get the front one back on. There we go. And uh, let's check flaps. We're good to go there. Let's speed up. And basically how I'm going to fly this plane now is through that monitor and those cameras, which I think is pretty damn awesome. It's a lot of fun. You can move that monitor closer if you wanted to. I'm just going to fly out there. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to activate the smoke on the plane. So that way now if I'm looking for the plane in the distance, I can see it. It's a lot easier to see it and have more fun with it. Do you know? put different colors on it, whatever. Now I'm going to show you why I've got that red smoke going. So when I come flying around, see that right there? I can see, in, you probably can't see in the video, but it makes it easier to come in back to where I'm at. If you want to do flybys, have fun with it. It's just a lot, lot easier. So there it goes right on by. 
and again it makes it a lot easier I'm gonna bring it back around here do a loop and I'm gonna kinda of come up pull up shaky and should be off to the left there she goes right there why don't we take her down for one more pass uh, you get at the idea this this method will work for every one of the vehicles that you build um, it's real easy to do and you don't have to sit around mess around with putting in you know a new chair and different adjustments or whatever well, let's see if I can find it where the hell I'm at there it goes okay maybe maybe I'll even try to land it here let's see if I can do that let's see let's cut engines a little bit bring it over bring it down cutting engines and is it gonna roll up here I <laughs> know I'm a little short uh, but you get the idea a lot of fun easy to do just build it hook it on there post below if you got any questions I uh, hope this helps you guys to create an RC vehicle cheers peace guys thanks for the subs thanks for the likes I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the gaming world